Hi Tom, so that's the assessment over. Um, Thank God. Well, yeah, no, done really well. So we're now just into the feedback and the next step phase. Uh, yeah, just going over the uh, assessment itself, uh, you met the criteria on the practical and the theoretical sides. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, looking at your, me doing my observation on your practical skills, you demonstrated that you called the ambulance or told me to, very important. You demonstrated the compressions, you could see the chest going down to the desired level. Uh, the rescue breaths are very important. I was looking out to see that the lung was inflating on the mannequin and it was inflated and deflated nicely. So that met the criteria. We then went on to the theoretical questions, uh, which were important. I asked you four questions. Uh, you met the criteria by answering them. Just on question three, you might have added in when would you stop CPR. You might have added in that you could also stop if you became completely exhausted. Okay, yeah. Which is one option. Oh, that's what you were talking Oh, well, you could get someone else to help you. Yeah. Before, yeah. Uh, if yeah. they're around. Yeah. Um, so that, that, that was that point. And if they showed signs of recovery. Of um, course. If we might need to stop and, and assess again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That makes sense. So just okay. to add to those. Um, so, yeah, really the, the next steps or the sort of smart next steps really would be that we do, we're going to do, do another assessment uh, later today. Uh, it'd be the final thing we do. Um, yeah. So you've met the criteria on the CPR. Uh, we're going to then have a look at the, the bleeding, major bleeding. And the bandaging. We've been practicing that bandaging. Yeah. And that's going to form the last uh, assessment. And I think um, that will conclude what we've, what we've done. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the feedback. Cheers. Thank you.